Hello, hello to all of my Cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Cancers. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Happy Super New Moon, Happy Super New Year, and Happy Super New You. We had a Super New Moon on January 21st, and so hopefully you all are getting your rest and deciding to what you want to manifest, the seeds you want to plant to manifest coming up. Let's see what your cards have to say, Cancers. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. It looks like there could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius that sources saying, get as far away from as possible and continue... Um, and continue to, wow, okay, whoa, continue to start, continue focusing on um, inspiring people. It looks like somebody's in a very powerful position, continue traveling, continue ignoring that energy as much as possible. It's, it's like somebody has this, um, good gracious, it looks like somebody that you may have dealt with in the past is just very treacherous energy. Again, when I look at your cards, the person could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius somewhere in their chart, somewhere in their birth chart. So unless you know their full birth chart, it could or it may or may not be their sun sign. But it's like somebody just has this. It's almost like somebody has this um, dealing with some kind of generational chaos and confusion that's going on with them. And for you, source just wants you to get away. And I'm by the way, I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, wherever it is in your chart, including your MC or IC. But source wants you to get as far away from them as possible. See how this person is on a motorcycle and they're like, okay, let me just get on this motorcycle and get as far away from them. Or it could be a loved one who um, drove motorcycles and their spirit could be saying to you, just like I got away on my motorcycle, get as far away from them as possible. That energy is just treacherous. The sad thing about this, as I see you all in inspiring a lot of people is that that fire energy will come back to burn you. If you warm up to it, like you all are highly intuitive signs and something in your spirit. Like I always tell people that cancers are human lie detectors. Something about your spirit cancer is picking up from something from their spirit that they will burn you. Like people are in their own personal hell and they will burn you, right? And to a point where they would do something very vindictive and treacherous, like try to get you locked up or try to get something crazy that you'd be like, well, what in the world did I do to cause a person to be in that kind of, that kind of rage? But it looks like you may have dealt with somebody whose solar plexus chakras are out of alignment. That's why I really want you all to pay attention to this. Somebody's solar plexus chakras are out of alignment. And so sources like to even interact with certain people would be a complete drain on your energy. And I say this because you put fire and water together is like boiling hot. So on one hand, that boiling hot could feel like, could feel like, you know, I, I feel, um, I feel powerful around them. I feel energetic around them. I feel confident around them. I feel like more confident, more energetic, more motivated. I have um, modal, more mental clarity. I feel like I can really met, levitate around the certain energies. But at the same time, with this much fire here, um, it also looks like somebody may have experienced some kind of bullying or some kind of rage, like somebody saw the other side of some energy. Um, somebody could have even had digestive issues thinking about being confused or, you know, feeling um, like one minute I feel warmed up, you know, warm with this energy. The next minute I feel like they're enraged. I feel like they just draining my energy. It's like from one extreme to the next, right? So like I said before, source wants you to steer clear of that energy. Somebody's going to be looking back here we, to stay connected to certain energies is self-sabotage. It is self-sabotage because you're pick, you pick up on, you're picking up, somebody's picking, somebody has picked up on somebody's energy very early on. And if you keep ignoring it, if you keep ignoring it, that energy will come back very vindictive. And I do see you being victorious at ignoring that energy. We have the Eight of Wands twice. We have the Six of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Lover's card. We also have the Six of Pentacles and also the Seven of Swords. So this could be somebody that you were romantically linked with. Here's a Lover's card. 
Also, the lover's card speaks to messages that are being sent out because the lover's card is attached to Mercury. Mercury is not retrograde right now. It went station direct on the 18th. <clears throat> so very clear messages are coming through and they're coming through. Um, not only are they coming through clear about somebody having some kind of like uh, in, um, their energy is a pull on you. So like I said, this is like somebody not playing with fire. You know, you all are a, um, <clears throat> you all are human lie detectors. There's a lot of things that you can attract to you besides somebody who can't control their temper. Okay. Like this, the energy of money. You want to stay cool, calm and collected. What you're not trying to attract is somebody who would sabotage you. Um, and then we have the eight of the eight of wands. Like it's like, it's really being reiterated to stay clear. The better thing, the better thing for you to do is if they, if they cut you off in any way, shape, form, or fashion, in any way, shape, form, if they stop talking to you, don't want to have anything to do with you, that, it, that's good. Either way, it's, it's good because you got the whole world in front of you. I see a lot of you all traveling, <clears throat> inspiring people wherever you go. I see new opportunities to meet people, to make more money. And I see those things happening for you fast. And I do see you victorious at getting as far away from those energies as possible. See this victory, six of the six of wands. I see an abundance coming your way as a result of you just, just like I said, somebody may have had a, um, <clears throat> a romantic relationship with the person where you could have felt like this was your twin flame, but then you saw something different happen in them and go, mm, no, nah, that's, that's not it. But this also represents, this is why I don't, when people say, I don't like this sign, I don't like that sign. That's what trying to help people to understand every human being has a, even twins, twins, triplets, quadruplets or whatever, have their own unique birth chart. It's like their own, you know, fingerprint, which sets them apart from even a person that they have the exact same birthday with, right? It sets them apart. You want to get your rest. <clears throat> You want to be able to discern somebody could have dealt with some energies at a lower frequency that was manipulative, gaslighting. Here's the thing about this too, right? This is what I need somebody to understand. They may not be, that's why it just don't lump all zodiac signs together. Somebody, you know, when people say things like, I was married to somebody for 10, 15, 20 years or whatever. You could have as a water sign. <clears throat> that's why we talk about protecting your water cancer. You as a water sign could have, somebody could have projected their narcissism, psychopathic, sociopathic, whatever into your water, right? This is why I said to you, looking here, sources saying, get away from those energies as fast as you possibly can, because you're learning how to flush out past um, experiences that you may have had. You're really, really trying to sort through some things and clear up some things, and you don't want to put everybody in the same category. So when we have seven of swords... This could be multiple people. They may not all be the same person. So you don't want to be overwhelmed thinking, okay, all whatever zodiac signs are this way or that way, right? You need to sort through a whole lot of things. So I do see, like I said, I see you moving on from something and I do see you not looking back because you you know exactly what you're dealing with. <clears throat> and so that's where you see the six of wands here, the victory. And I do see you making more money. So where you, you and first of all, you all are the mother sign and the money sign. So I do see more money coming across your path. Um, cancers again, because here we have the six of swords. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the two of cups. We have the king of cups, seven of cups, and also the magician card. Like I said before, the magician card is attached to this right here. So clear messages are actually coming to you. They're coming to you, but you're also sending out messages to the universe. You're communicating with the universe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me like you don't have a problem communicating not only to the universe, but also speaking your truth about a situation to get as far away. But the way that you're the way that you're communicating your truth is in a way where you're delivering um, 
you know, pouring a little bit of water on the fire to kind of sort of calm the flame down so that people are not blow torching you or burning you. And hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Here you have the King of Cups. Not only are you compassionate, but you're also very wise. So that wisdom is allowing you to communicate something to somebody in a way that is not getting them even more upset. You know, they may not like what you say or you deliver the message. And they may even accuse you of being a low vibrating cancer, which would be needy, clingy, and you know, whatever, manipulative, whatever they're trying to project onto you, cover your water, cover your water. You are just like I tell people all the time, cancers are human lie detectors. You may have picked up on something where you say, oh no, that I don't, mm -mm, nope, this isn't the one for me. This isn't the one for me. So now you can make room. So when you're communicating that to somebody, again, you all are the mother sign and the money sign. So the mother sign, the, the mother in you, talking to men and women, Kansas, won't want to necessarily be harsh. We're not talking about whatever kind of relationship you have with your mother. Mother energy is very nurturing. It feels like self-care. It feels like fresh water. So the way you're delivering messages to people, here we have the seven of cups. You could be tempted to vibrate with them. Like if they say something low vibrational or hurtful or narcissistic, or like I said, if they're low vibrate, it's already been exposed. You're a human lie detector. You could be tempted to say something with them at a low frequency, but sources like, mm -mm, keep your, your frequency high because I'm sending new energy across your path. And I want, and sources saying, I want you to be able to receive it. Here was the nine of pentacles. You may be tempted to vibrate low with them, but sources, mm -mm, nope, I got the nine of pentacles here. This is wish fulfillment for you. The energy of money is attached, attached to your relationships with people. So I'm trying to send a, a relationship across your path that's on your frequency. So again, I'm trying to send soulmate energy across your path. So like I said before, we, that's the two of cups. Like I said before, um, if they move on, and don't look back. It's a win for you. If you decide, hey, it's time for me to take action and move on, it's a win for you. So it's a win-win regardless. Something something that you may have um, picked up energetically from somebody physically or even something from the past. You're picking up something energetically, whether it's through a family member, an ex-love interest, or whatever, something was communicated to you because you're already in receiving mode about somebody who, even if you warm up to the idea of reconnecting with certain people, sources get as far away from them as possible. Somebody is enraged, they're in bully mode, they're and if they're not that way, right, they may seem like they being nice to you. The next thing you know, turn around and burn you. Get as far away from them as possible. So I do see, like I said before, I, I don't see you going back. I don't see you going back to energies like that at all. I see you moving forward. Let's see what else we got going on. Again, happy um, happy new moon. Happy new year. Happy new year. This is your motivational Monday reading for um, Monday through the end of February the 28th. Let's see what else we got going on here, Cancers. Let's see what else we have going on here. But yeah, get away from it. Once you, once you realize, Cancer, that somebody has it in them to... to become that enraged and bully you, especially you all are, um, like I said before, I always try to explain to people that cancers are not pushovers. You know, the fact that you all are very nurturing and very mothering, every, every zodiac sign has two sides to them, right? And it would not be in people's best interest to assume that a cancer, um, um, would accept anybody's rage or bullying or anything like that. So, like I said before, you all are very wise. We have, um, you all are inspiring a lot of people. Somebody, somebody could be in a leadership, either in a leadership position. Leadership position doesn't doesn't necessarily mean title by the worst the world standard. It could be in a position where you're like, you know what, I, I have earned my place on this throne. I inspire too many people wherever I go. You could, doesn't matter what your job title is, I inspire people and I know how to get things quicker. You know, I, I know how to inspire people and get the things that I need quicker um, without repaying hurt with hurt. 
I would rather go ahead and let you burn your bridge and not rekindle the bridge, not, not um, extend an olive branch. So here we have the Knight of Swords, more Knight energy. We have the Two of Wands again. We have the Devil card. We have the Lover's card again. And we also have the Moon card. Yeah, so level the, the Lover's card came out again, further reiterating embracing all sides of yourself this is your divine masculine to your divine feminine your divine feminine sign so you're speaking to yourself right you are communicating to yourself but you don't have you're telling yourself what nurtures your spirit and what doesn't nurture your spirit so if you come across a person where you you saw it in them that you know i i may you know um I feel more powerful. I feel more energetic. I feel more confident. So that's the good side. I feel more charismatic when I'm with you. I feel more motivated. I feel more mental clarity. But if you see that that fire come out against you to try to hurt you in any kind of way, it should only, you know what? You may give it five times that you've seen something come out in their spirit. They may have said things. Y'all are just too highly intuitive. And, and they may not even know. But if you've seen this come out of them and they're operating, this the devil card represents fear. It represents doubt. It represents some kind of uncertainty. It's, it represents a, an energy that feels um, unstable, right? It feels like a person just, it's like they would bully you into staying with them versus feeling secure enough within themselves to say, okay, well, hey, if it doesn't work out, it's cool too. And not only that, somebody has a, it was like a, just a, you weighed the pros. Somebody may have weighed the pros and cons of a situation. It could have been a romantic relationship. It could have been a family relationship. It could have been a job. Somebody weighed the pros and cons of whatever the relationship was and said, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and just let it fall by the wayside. It's, it just feels too overwhelming. So again, when you're already overwhelmed by just life in general, your water sign, and you've had a lot of, um, this manipulation lies and all of that other stuff. You could be in a relationship with a person where it just feels like it's, it's, it's lighting a flame in you where it just feels like passionate. It can feel like, you know, I feel inspired. Like I said, more charismatic, more powerful, more, all these things until that energy burns you. It's time to release it. Page of wands. Yeah. Page of wands. So I do see, like I said before, you all are, um, a highly magnetic sign. I don't see you having a problem attracting what you want, Cancers. But the sooner you are able to release something that seems like bullying or enraged or that kind of energy, you don't you don't need to wait around to experience uh, the burn. It can come out in conversation. It can just come out in your feelings. You all are the I feel sign. Here we have the two of wands twice. Again, I see travel on the horizon. I see new money coming across your path. I see new opportunities to meet people across your path. Like you literally, like this right here, the, have the whole world in front of you. So swords are saying this, knight of wands twice. Further reiterating, get as far away from that as possible. You had you had three three cards, three sets of cards that came out twice. Well, actually, no, you got the lover's card that came out twice. Really, in, you know, encouraging you to love yourselves deeper and give your speak to your higher self. Be okay with communicating with its energies when you see it. But this is like saying, get on your horse and get as far away from that kind of energy as possible. Watch how quickly things are replaced, come your way. The things that you've been wanting to attract, like a, a better life. In other words, somebody wants to live a stress-free life. You don't want to be around a whole bunch of drama or even connected to anybody who has a bunch of drama going on in their lives. So, yeah. I don't see a problem with you guys communicating with it however you feel at all. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm seeing victory. Like, just steering clear of some energies. Like, I don't even want to be bothered with it. Here we have dance. Yeah, somebody's dancing to a whole new tune. The number nine lets me know that something had to end. Like you are focusing on being in complete and total harmony with yourselves and being in harmonious relationships. None of that drama. And anybody who is even trying to, like I said, somebody, the moon card lets me know that somebody could have been in a situation that is just emotionally draining, has just had you at just really overwhelmed having 
you know, like feeling just like your, your core has been shaken to the ground to the, this right here, the devil card. Um, like somebody could have felt like their, their, uh, root chakra was out of alignment. So this is, imp this is important for you to take care of yourself when you're, um, somebody could have had, you know, felt anxious, accident prone. Somebody could have felt like, you know, their patience was tested. Somebody could have felt like their stability was tested. Their security was tested where your money was tested in some way, shape from a fam or your family situation could have been tested. So the last thing you need around you are people who are further threatening that by one minute there, they seem like they're warming up to you. The next minute they're blow torching you like, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. So it's time, like I said, get your solar plexus chakras in alignment. What I mean by that is asking yourself these following questions. It's only two questions, right? Solar plexus chakra, why am I allowing myself to enjoy more and more success, right? Why am I allowing myself to enjoy more and more success? In other words, the sooner I'm able to determine that a person is willing to um, burn me like a blowtorch, I need to go ahead and, and let that burn that bridge be burned so I can continue enjoying my successful life, inspiring myself and inspiring other people. Second question is, why am I growing more confident every day? Why am I growing more confident every day? That those are your transformational power questions as we are in this new phase. That's right. This this super new moon phase. Believe in the impossible. That's right. Believe in the impossible cancers. This is great when I look at your cards, Cancers, because like I said before, there have been, where's that card? There's been, this This is multi-layered. This lets me know that somebody could be plotting and planning behind your back some kind of devilish act. And this could have started, like I said before, there could be a fire sign at the root of it, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, doing some kind of dev devilish act. But... Like I said before, I see you being victorious as staying away from those type of energy. And as soon as you recognize just how low somebody could go, like they're in their own personal hell, you're doing more of like speaking to your highest self. It's not like it's a, the devil card could have, could cause a person to operate in fear, doubt, some kind of uncertainty, right? There should be something in you that just see their spirit shape shift. Where you say, wow, I need to stay as far away from that as possible. Something that they are involved in could, could get you in a lot of trouble, right? And so it would be self-sabotage to stay close, connected to that. So sources like just sail away. You may be disappointed, but sail away. This is not something you want to nurture. This is not something that you want to mother. You want to get as far away from that as possible. Now that it's been exposed, it's time to let it go by the wayside because that energy will overwhelm you. And it could be anybody. This is anybody. It's not just it's not it's not just one person. Whoever you need to forgive, but get as far away from them as possible. Because what's what's happening is that a lot of people have an issue with closing out cycles, right? Like they'll operate in a spirit of unforgiveness for years because they don't want to close out the cycle. They don't understand how how this works, that they're, they're really literally robbing themselves. They're sabotaging themselves by being angry with you and frustrated with you, trying to get back at you, trying to cut you, you know, like with a sword, trying to hurt you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. That thing will just last temporarily, but still they're in their own personal hell. So the best thing you can do is to move forward cancers and not look back at all. Let's see what your number is in this pull an affirmation card and close it out. Best thing you can do, like I said, is not look back. You got any drums, beat on some drums, get that negative energy out of your space so that you can move forward. Move forward and not look back. 23. I am adventurous. So maybe somebody needs a trip. You know, maybe somebody has felt like the burn of you know, somebody's energy, whether they still have access to you or not, because this is several people. If they don't have access to you, don't give them access to you whatsoever. Just get as far away from them as possible. It's a pivotal point. 23 reduces to five. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. 
for you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. That's right. Get as far away from we're hot tempered people who can't control themselves, who can't control their emotions. Again, I'm seeing some level of somebody was overwhelmed emotionally here. Just could have just been overwhelmed by life, but somebody is really trying to somebody is trying to get you fired up, but it's not in a positive way. So anybody like that, if you can get as far away from that, especially as a water sign to recharge near water, a body of water cancer, do it. Just get as far away from that energy as you possibly can so that you can protect yourself, protect your energy and recharge. Protect your energy and recharge. It is really, really not worth it. Let's see what else we got going on here. Cancers, let's close this out with an affirmation card. Love. Affirmations for love. That's right. This is more loving yourself. You see what lover's card came out twice? Yeah. This is more of you loving yourself, speaking to your highest frequency, waking up, speaking to lovingly to yourself, and also operating in love. Even when you have to let the let you know energy that's trying to flame towards you go, you're still operating in love. I am connected to all love and all light. I welcome all forms of authentic love into my life. I deserve to love and be loved. I love myself as I am. All is love and I am loved. I approve of myself. I am enough. My heart is full of love. I share love with those around me. That's right. That's what I have for you. Um, cancers, when people cannot see that you've been overwhelmed by things emotionally to a point where you are almost about to break, those are the people that you need to get as far away from as possible. And I do see, like I said, you got the Knight of Wands twice, sources reiterating it twice. It's like when you read scriptures in the Bible twice, it's like, okay, I'm telling you the first time, I got to tell you again, you know, like the scripture, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Telling you twice, stay as far away from those energies as possible. You've seen them try to pick little petty arguments with you. You've seen them warm up to you, the old bait and switch. You've already seen it. You felt it. How many times does it need to happen? So sources saying it was already exposed. Just stay as far away from them, um, cancer. And, you know, especially if you think about them and you feel like, wow, on one hand, I feel so inspired. I feel more charismatic. I feel like I'm more inspired around them. Like I get fired. You can get that. You can get that from source. That's what the sun is for, right? This, that fire, that fire from the sun, get out on the beach somewhere, get up under that sunlight so you can get more inspired. Certainly not from this energy or these energies that get you fired mad, but also you feel like, okay, I, I get, I get all of this. You know, like people say, I get, um, I get motivated from my enemies or the enemy. No, this should not be inspiring you at all. If anything, you're trying to stay as far away from that energy as possible because it will burn you. That's what I have for you. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.